It's important for all recreational divers who are planning to dive in the UK to maintain an appropriate level of fitness. I like to have a medical check every year to make sure that there's no underlying medical conditions that could affect my ability to dive. You should always check your kit thoroughly, whether it's your own gear or higher gear, as any potential equipment problems can lead to an incident. Things to check are looking for obvious signs of wear and tear or misuse, worn webbing and poorly maintained regulators. Look for cracked or bulging hoses or corroded connectors. Check for any weak buckles or clips. Look at the seals on your dry suit to make sure there are no worn areas or tears. Check the fin and mask straps to make sure they're not going to snap when you put them on. Lastly, check the mouthpiece for tears and holes. Also check for any damaged lugs on the mouthpiece. It's vital to do a buddy check before every single dive to make sure your equipment is working properly. It doesn't matter how experienced you are, you still need to make sure your equipment is working. Complacency can be a big risk, even for more experienced divers. Key things to check are that your air is fully turned on and both your primary and alternative regulator are working. Make sure your BCD hose is connected, as well as your dry suit inflator hose. Check that the weight belt isn't fouled by the crotch strap or any other straps. Check that the other equipment is present and easily accessible. Finally, do a visual head to toe of your buddy and make sure everything looks okay. UK sea temperatures average 12 degrees. They can get up as high as 19 degrees, but in winter they can drop as low as 2 degrees. In addition, wind chill can make that feel significantly colder and can increase the risk of hypothermia. To combat that, we need a well-fitting exposure suit. You can dive in a wetsuit in the UK, but in cold weather, a dry suit may be more appropriate. In that case, you may need to wear thermal insulation underneath the dry suit. If we have a badly fitting wetsuit, that can allow flushing through the suit. A badly fitted dry suit can allow leaks through the seals and can also make buoyancy control more difficult. Even in the summer, hypothermia can become an issue with wind chill, so never get complacent about maintaining your temperature. However, it's not just in the water when we get cold. After the dive on the surface with a cold wind, divers can become very chilled. In this case, it's important to take windproof jackets to put on after the dive.